Hello everyone, this is JLS1114 Back with another video for you, it's been a while But I've noticed that the video that has caught on more than any other video that I've ever done Is the disabled dating debate <clears throat> I am still uh, getting subscribers based off of that video uh, I'm very proud of it, and I'm, I'm glad that it has helped some people. Uh, I've had people, uh, you know, find me uh, just recently, even yesterday, uh, hunted me down on Facebook, and they were drawn into the rest of my channel based on that dis disabled debate video. So um, I'm very proud of that. Um, <clears throat> I was hoping to, you know, with my channel to help people, and I feel I have done that. <clears throat> and um, if it takes, you know, one video for everyone to start to see me and um, get, get some respect for me and like to know more about me, and they check out my other videos, and I'm hoping it can make a difference in someone's life. Then, um, I did what I was set out to do, so I'm pretty proud of that. With that said, um, I made that video a couple of years ago, and I'm still getting subscribers from it. Um, so that makes me feel really good. Uh, <clears throat> I wanted to add something, a little twist of something different that has to do with dis disabled dating. Uh, hopefully this video will be just as much of a success, if not even more. And um, <clears throat> we get a conversation going like I did with my disabled dating debate video. Um, I'm not looking to like be really popular or anything. I'm just basically happy that a video is resonating enough that it's drawing people in to want to check out the rest of the videos that may be a blessing to their life and help in some way. So. I'm just thankful for that. Anyway, moving on with the topic. Um, in this video, <clears throat> I want to talk about now, and some of you made a comment to this on my other video, so I want to bring this to the, to the forefront now, which is, let's take out in the last video, we were talking about, does it matter if you're disabled and you date somebody who else who is, you prefer somebody who is disabled like you, or you feel, <clears throat> uh, you know, you can date someone who is not disabled and they're able body or whatever. So I want to put something different into the mix here, okay? Does it matter if you do decide, if you are disabled or um, and you date someone who is disabled or you are able-bodied and you decide to date someone who's disabled does it matter on the disability they have if you would go with that person <clears throat> also or in some cases would you rather just stick strictly with your disability you know you would go for anything else or it really doesn't matter to you again you get to really know the person and you're gonna try it out. Or you were just like, nah, -uh, I'm blind. That's what I'm going with. Either you're blind or that's it. You know. So now I wanna make this about being specifics on disability. Type of disability is what I wanna add to this. And I have a lot to say about this myself. Um, <clears throat> my own personal end of it. So let me explain mine. I have to say, as much as it actually bothers me, because I am someone who does not like to judge anyone, um, where most people would, it would be a deal breaker for somebody, it wouldn't be for me. I always feel if you have done something bad or whatever, sometimes things have led you to do that. Not that it makes it okay, because it doesn't. But sometimes it's just a lot more to understand about that person. They really are a good person. So I'm, I'm definitely not one to judge right away. Um, 
but I have to say, uh, I'm not judging, but I also feel I'll give everybody a chance. But I, I have to say, when it comes to being, uh, I am specific of disabilities. I will date someone who is able-bodied. I haven't yet. This hasn't happened. As in my other video, that is still the case now. Um. So yeah, I haven't yet. So, but I also I have dated. <clears throat> I mean, mainly have dated people who were blind. There was one person I dated that was not blind, like myself. Uh, he was in a wheelchair. And he had a severe cerebral palsy, and he watches my videos, so he will know who I'm talking about. Um, well, I don't know if he still watches them, but he did. Um, so anyway, uh, so severe cerebral palsy, and <clears throat> excuse me, and. They tried to say, you can correct me, person, uh, you know who I'm talking about, uh, if I'm wrong, but it seems like they have always tried to say that he was um, a little mentally challenged. Um, at least that's what it seemed like from other people. So, I don't, I don't know if that's the case. I, I don't know. Um, I think he could, he could do a lot more than what people feels he can. Um, there are some things, um, if you are watching, <laughs> um, don't take this the wrong way. That's why I'm not even going to say your name, okay? Um, but if I'm going to be real and honest, um, there are some things, that, but I think he's aware of this, so I don't think I'm saying anything wrong, but um, there are some things that someone of his age does not know that he needs to... Um, get better at so uh, I think he just was never given the chance I think people thought that he could do a lot of things and they just kind of assumed it but I I know he could do more than what people have given him a chance to do um, I also feel that if people sat with him and took the time to really teach him these things that I, I think he would catch on um, so I, I really don't think he's that bad off as in the head as people think he is. So he's uh, he's quite bright, and I've had other people have, have a testament to that in my own family. So uh, don't judge the book by its cover. Anyway, moving on with the <laughs> main part of this, um, I tried to date him. And I have to say, I'm sorry, again, to be really honest, but um, I have to say that he um, broke up with me partly because we didn't have the same disability. It mattered to him. Um, and at the time, I was hurt, really, really hurt and upset about it because it didn't matter to me. I got to know him and I was just really happy with him as a person and I was really really happy with him as a person and I did think about disability but I have to say at the time the reason that he gave you know I'm sorry I want someone with my disability I thought that was crap you know well I mean at the time as time went on I started to understand because believe it or not there are issues across the board that the disability community altogether um, deal with but it does matter a little bit actually in some cases a lot on if you um, on the specifics of your disability that there are certain things that some other people would understand because they're not dealing with that with their disability, you know, like being in a wheelchair, you know, I, I can only imagine, you know, uh, he's going to come across things being in a wheelchair that I just would not get. So now I, I now I agree with him and 
I believe it does matter um, of of disabilities. I I believe there are some disabilities that I probably could not even try to date. Uh, again, it hurts me to say that. You know, I'm such a sweet, kind person, and I feel like I'm being so mean, but. It really, it really does matter. I had someone on my disability dating debate video say, I would have said it the way they said it, um, but they did have a point, um, is that they feel those who are intellectually challenged, as they call it now, um, that they should stick with those who are intellectually challenged. I wouldn't have put it in those particular words but what he was trying to convey I have to say I probably agree with um, I don't know if I could date someone who is really has a moderate to severe um, you know uh, developmental disability like that um, and I and again they can understand each other and I've seen those kinds of relationships work, and they just, they get each other. They're in the same world with one another, and if somebody is a little bit more together than the other, they can help that person. I, I think they can help each other better, honestly. I, I honestly believe that as well. Not just about that, I don't know if I could do it. Um, it also comes down to, you really gotta think, and this is what has helped me cope with, that I'm not being so mean about dealing with certain disabilities of dating them or not is that it really comes down to also what you can handle sometimes your disability is enough and if you take on something that's just way too much um, as I have uh, people who I've dated one person who they were mainly blind but they also had some mental illness going on and at the time I was kind of weak and I just wanted to be loved you know and I just dealt with stuff I shouldn't even have dealt with. And, um, you know, and now I'm a lot stronger and firm on that front. And because it is too much for me. It's, it's, it can be way too much. It was severely mentally, um, I had a mental illness and it was just too much. So sometimes it comes down to that. Some people need a lot more needs than you can handle. Um, going back to my friend. Um, he, my, the one I originally started talking about in the beginning, the, the one in the wheelchair, um, again, if you're watching this video, I hope you're not killing me, but, um, that's why I'm not revealing your name. Nobody will know who I'm talking about, okay? Um, but, <clears throat> um, you know, when it comes, I've realized he has a lot more needs. I was younger than when I started dating him, um. He has a lot more needs than what I can unfortunately handle. Um, and mixed with my own disability and what he needs, I, I can't do it. And I, I just can't. So that's what it comes down to. So that matters too. You know, if you're having to spend all your time worrying or have to take a lot of time out of what you need to be doing for you to make sure that person gets their best care. I mean, you know, unfortunately, that's you really gotta take a look at the situation a little deeper and closer. So that's how I feel about that. Um, I would like to hear what you all have to say about this, um, and hopefully, get another really good conversation going. Thank you again for watching, and have a nice day.